Jesus. Ow. What'd you do? That's what I get for cutting my fucking nail. I've been waiting for this all day. I know. It's all Friday. Week. Friday. Friday. Dug it down Friday. Now you're doing the intro this week. I am? Yeah. Oh, I am. That's right. Oh, wow. This is really good. This is better than the other one that you guys are drinking. We got, we got the good one, Sarah. It's like Florida enough. Ooh, yeah, that it is really good. It really is. That's what I'm saying. It's really good. Welcome back to Stories from the Shed. My name is Jake, and I'm taking Adam's job this week by making fun of him. Uh, with me is a man that told me this week that every girl is a squirter if you hit the right artery. <laughs> Adam. There's some truth behind that. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> What's a little blood between friends, huh, Jake? <laughs> you want to just continue? It's all, it's all you. I don't even know what to say. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, we are very excited to be here for another episode of Stories from the Shed. Uh, we have a couple of guests with us. We replaced our shitty mic, which is making that crackly back feed he had a few episodes back. We thought it was uh, a particular guest's cell phone interference. One of the big rules in the shed is turn your damn phone off. No cell phones. No cell phones. We cannot have people calling 911. No, absolutely not. And we can't have <laughs> Siri listening. What's she going to say to the police? That's right. <laughs> and we have a couple of guests today. We have my wife, Sarah, back. Thank hello, you for coming. Hello. Hello. And we have Jurgen back again. Hey. Can't get enough of her. She does such a such right. a good job out here. So, ready to roll for another interesting episode. Uh, but before we get going, uh, how's everybody been? Good, good. It's glad been a weird week. Yeah, it really. Yeah. Has. I'm glad it's over. I'm just thankful it's over. I have the next five days off. Oh, so. I'm jealous. Yeah, I'm jealous. It's, it's going to be a good time. I don't even know what we're doing, but we're going to take it day by day and relax. That's what vacations for. Mm-hmm. I took a day. Today, that was PTO. There really wasn't much to do at the shop this week. So I said, screw it. I'm taking an extra day. So now I have a four-day weekend. Hopefully get a couple projects nailed out, and it'll be good. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, it's, it was kind of a shit week, so I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> wow, you all are so negative. I'm going to keep drinking my beer. I'm so happy to be with such positive people. Right? Come work with us, and then you'll understand. <laughs> no, thanks. Yeah. I know How I tiring it, like, it is, but we love it. <laughs> Anyways, um, I know you'd mentioned you wanted to do the social media in the beginning. I did? Yeah, am I throwing you a curveball right oh, now? Oh, you totally did. I can't uh, believe you did that to me. Okay, well, I remember this conversation now, and it was just because it it's... I feel like it's easier to get all that shit out of the way. You know, right... right I'd say bright and early, like we're getting up, but no, it's 7.30-ish. Jake, let's take this podcast at the business end. What do you say? Go right ahead. You want to do our ad reads, too? Hey, you know what? You can find us on Facebook at Stories from the Shed. Uh, <laughs> Instagram stories from the shed podcast. We now have snatched Snapchat and it's in Russian stories from shed. It just is. like Do just, you really? Yes. All right, just I'll like our Twitter you. stories from shed. I had some really cute bunny ear pictures. I've been meaning to uh, <laughs> really share. Oh yeah, you, I, you sent those you to yeah. me, honey. Those were uh, very cute. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, you know, my caption was Captain Adorable. So yeah, if only that was his <laughs> so MySpace cute picture. that I ignored <laughs> the message. <laughs> If Thanks. only that was his MySpace picture when you met him. <laughs> oh, I got some good ones. Oh, oh yeah. goody. <laughs> Did he have long hair at one point? Because I can picture him having super long hair. It was kind of like the pictures you had on your Facebook there with the yogurt. What yogurt? <laughs> I'm so confused. The push, what, what, what was that? The, oh, uh, my God, the go-gurt? The go-gurt. The oh, go-gurt yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Jake B. go <laughs> <laughs> It was only one time. <laughs> Was it the night you had those 20 nips? Make, no, no. I passed out in the back of my car and threw up all over it. I don't really want to get into that story, though. These headphones are irritating. Well, we got some pretty interesting drank here tonight, don't we, Jake? Why don't we you do. tell us a bit about this? We do. Well, I picked this up the other day when I had come through. Uh, it's it's called Hemp Tails, and we I, I, get, I get two different flavors. There's uh, one called Pomegranate Express, which you and Jurgen are drinking, and then Sarah and I are drinking one that's called Citrus Gold. And I'll be honest with you, I think I like the citrus gold better than the pomegranate. Yeah. But they're both really good. Uh, they're 8% and they come in the big cans, the 24-ounce cans. And uh, I guess their big selling point is they're made with real hemp seeds. Not oh. that it matters to me, but when I originally saw it, I'm like, that bottle's kind of pretty. Does that mean we're going to get a headache after we smoke this beer? Well, they contain I mean, alcohol. That's a good, so... that's a good question. <laughs> Smoke this beer. Well, we should, maybe maybe we can just put it in like a little thing and 
warm it up. Warm it up a bit. Right. <laughs> I think it's delicious, though. Uh, I'm drinking the passion fruit. It's 8%. I'm going to give this a very high 4.5 Scully Finger rating. This is a wow. wet dream in a can, everybody. <laughs> Go buy it. Check it out. Wow, that is one of your higher ratings. <laughs> it's delectable. It's delectable. Delectable. <laughs> Adam's on fire tonight. If I'm you on can't fire. Tell. Ready to go. Ready to go. I'm out of work. Woo! Oh, Time he's to been do a podcast. The case since we got here, and Sarah just looks at him. Fucking stop talking about the case. Yes. Well, hey. And she hits Please. me when the mic's off. So <laughs> yeah, she does. She she's super abusive. <laughs> Jurgen, yeah. what are you giving this? Um, I I think I'm gonna go with a four with it. It's pretty good. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I like it. I got the passion fruit one as well. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a four. I think I'm going to agree with you. I'm going to go with a four and a half. Actually, you know what? Can I be Can I be the first one to... Oh, no, we already gave something else five stars. You can do it. Five you stars. Five, five stars. Even... 30 episodes in. Woo! Sorry, Ooh. this is where we need the clap sound effect. That's it. Well, cheers, everybody. Cheers. 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 So we got a pretty cool story today. Um, this is one that happened a couple years ago, but there's been some recent updates in the, in the media. I think about a month ago. Um, which totally changes the dynamic of the story. What we're doing tonight is the Delphi murders. Uh, This is one that had taken place in Delphi, Indiana. It's kind of interesting because I feel like the, the, uh, the state police and the local police in that area know a lot of information about this, but they're keeping it close to the vest. Mm -hmm. There's so much that they're not sharing with people Mm -hmm. that I feel like that's, that can be a good thing. Uh, because when you finally do make it an arrest, it makes it a lot easier to get a conviction in a lot of t- a lot of cases. You know, because sometimes when you release all kinds of information, it, it, all you get all these phone calls from people that said I did it and blah blah blah, and they basically start to retell what was released. Or um, the person gets an opportunity to take off because they're onto the case. You know, they're on. Just, they're on to somebody else, somebody kind else. of a yeah. thing. Um, so they they have kind of held on to a lot of the information which can be good but in some cases i think can be bad because you know you have a community that's backing the search for this for this killer and they have nothing to go by either um so i guess we can start with with the story here um there were two teenage victims uh, abigail we're going to call her abby williams or abby uh she was 13 years old and her best friend uh liberty uh, we'll call libby german who was 14 years old uh, they were found dead in the Del- uh, on a trail in the Delphi area. It's a series of uh, a ten mile trails. Delphi where? Delphi, Indiana. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, this was an area that they were known to frequent. Uh, if you were to look at the area there, like from an aerial view, there's a creek or mm-hmm. a creek, depending how you how you speak. But uh, that kind of goes through the land. It looks like it's several acres, and there's an old abandoned train trestle. A train track that goes through the property as well. Mm-hmm. Um, this day, this particular day on February thirteenth, uh, two thousand seventeen, the um, it was a half day at school. The teachers had a one of those parent teacher conference days. Whoa, and, we don't have that. They make teachers go do parent teacher conferences after school. Or is it like a teacher workshop at. thing? Teacher workshop. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, teacher workshop. Okay. All right. Couple of sips of this here. Well, I was just jealous. talking about. <laughs> well, I was just <laughs> I'm jealous for my stepmom. Already. The Thank hemp you. seeds are going to your brain. Must now. be the hemp seeds. <laughs> it's all that wacky. It's the wacky they put in this. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I'm so fucking stupid. <laughs> so uh, mm, mm. sip there. Um, so they're dropped off by a relative and. Uh, Near the beginning of the trail, which is on the Monson High Bridge, which the, is the Mon Monon Monon High or Bridge. Or is it Mon? I, I don't know. Something in Maine accents. That's Monon Monon. That's a Monon High Bridge. Is it supposed to be Monson High Bridge? No, it's Monson Mon Monon Monon okay. Monon High Bridge. Okay. Uh, Microsoft which, Word is not very accurate with its <laughs> cor- with its uh, spelling corrections. No, nope, but it definitely is um, Monon High okay. Bridge, and it, this goes over the creek, and this is in Carroll County, Indiana. Yep. Very common place for people to hike. Uh, very common place for people, I think, would imagine to hunt because there's not a whole lot going on. Well, if a lot of people are walking, maybe maybe not so much. It's probably not a great idea. Yeah, no. I'd play on that bridge, though. Uh, yeah. You played on that bridge? No, I want to. Oh, 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 okay. That seems like something I'd do. Oh. Yeah, so this, uh, it, you know what, though? It's funny that you mentioned that because this bridge is, I believe, I've heard a couple of different 
stories at 75 foot or 100 foot. Either way, that's pretty high. Yeah, that's a pretty high. I'm not Jeez. dropping my kids off to go, hey, go play yeah, on the fucking yeah. bridge there. Yeah. No the, rails. Yeah, have fun, buddy. Don't put your foot between them. Hopefully a... your friend doesn't push you off. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so they're walking on the trail, and Libby decides that she's going to post a photo to Snapchat showing uh, Abby crossing the bridge. They're kind of young to be on Snapchat, don't you think? No. Yeah. no. No? Kids that are 10, 11 are on Snapchat Snapchats now. are really? for like little kids. Yeah. And, and, really? I feel like really old. I don't even know how to use my Snapchat half the time. Well, even it's, I'm bad. With Snapchat, you have all those funny images that you can uh, take on them. And... They even have filters now where you can turn yourself into a woman if you're a guy or a guy if you're a woman. Uh, yeah, but this was just a normal picture of her walking across the bridge. Yeah, right. And and there's no place, filters. Gonna, right. right. But, but here's the thing. We're going to put you, Adam in charge of the Snapchat. Oh, We're going to yeah. get you some nice bunny pictures up there. And oh, that's yeah. what's going to sell us right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I make a cute bunny. But, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but anyways, um, so, th- so her friend takes a picture of her as she's walking the bridge, and this would be the last uh, photograph ever taken of her uh, alive. So this is the... Uh, the famous one of the famous pictures involved in this case. Well, I'm glad someone got a snap sh- uh, snapshot of that. Now, several or a screenshot, whatever. S- several hours later, uh, same family member, I believe, it uh, goes to that area to find the kids. They were supposed to be back to the vehicle, you know, at the meeting point, and they're not there. And immediately, they feel like there's something wrong uh, because this is something that was a common thing for these kids, and they never had any problems before. And they clearly had communications of some sort because yeah, Libby had, had her phones. phone. Yep. Yeah, so they immediately, you know, they notify the authorities and other the, the authorities start to search. Other people in the Delphi community, which is about 3,000 people, very small, uh, small town America kind of a place, are, are searching. Now, this search goes on until about 12, 1230 at night, though from what I understand, there's been several people that stayed even later to more like 2, 230 in the morning. Wow, dedicated. Know, looking. Um, there was a, uh, shortly thereafter, there's a news release in, uh, by the Carroll County Sheriff saying that there's no reason to suspect foul play or that the girls are in immediate danger because they really haven't found anything. There's no blood. There's no anything. Evidence right. of anything. Kids could get turned around in the woods. Phones, clothes, nothing. Right. right. So I think that you know this community already kind of knew what was going on. You can imagine, like I said earlier, 3,000 people. This is small town America. Imagine the rumor mills. Yeah. Already beginning. So the police are... Even back then on February 14th, 13th, 14th, and even to this day, they try to suppress any kind of rumors or any of that because it just kind of clouds everything. Right. Well, it's it's an active investigation. Yes. So uh, the next day on the 14th of February, 2017, they continue to look for the girls, and about noontime, uh, the teams find two bodies about half a mile away from the bridge. Um, authorities share the information with the media, but they don't reveal the identity of any bodies or anything but we can safely assume it's these two girls unfortunately well what yeah and what had happened was uh i believe it's firefighters that found the bodies and even when they radioed in they said we found the girls it's yeah. not good yeah so i mean but again they're still trying to when someone goes missing and then gets found that quickly it's not hard to identify them unless they've right. been brutally assaulted well especially if like you've been searching all night for well, These two girls. Two girls right. missing, two girls found. We right. put it together. Right. right. You know? Not too far away. Right. Yeah. Uh, the following day on February 15th. Uh, the what a horrible way to lose your kids on Valentine's Day of all days to do it. That's yeah. just awful. Yeah. No, it's the, the whole thing is, is, is awful. What's awful is that they haven't solved this yet. Um, yeah, that's pretty awful, too. But there was autopsies done the following day. Uh, that afternoon, Indiana State Police in the Carroll County Sheriff's Department uh, hold a press conference, and they confirmed that the bodies did believe to Libby, did belong to did Libby and Abby, uh, okay, uh, and that the girls were murdered. Now they did not release how these girls were murdered, and this still has not been released to this day. <clears throat> that always is like really weird to me when you have like I don't know, I don't know if this is like one assailant or two. I feel like I could probably get away, but that's just me. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I guess I'd have to be like there with a the murderer. Yeah. Perhaps. I mean, we'll, we'll kind of get into some of that, like whether it could have been two people or one right. people. Uh, but as of right, people. one person's, well, you know, I don't know. <laughs> 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 Shit, man. <laughs> but uh, there's one or two or somebody's up to something. There's but, one people. So uh, 
All that all that's been known is that these bodies have been recovered. The girls are dead. They have not. They autopsies have been conducted. Nothing has been released as far as have they been sexually assaulted, any of that kind of um, information. That same day, they released a photo of a man that was supposedly seen following the girls or was at least around the trail where they were at the time. Um, this image, which we will put up on our Facebook, Adam's going to take care of that, um, shows a white man, of course, it's a white man, um, with his hands in his pockets while walking. He's wearing jeans and a navy blue jacket and also a hat. Uh, police Im didn't immediately call him a suspect, but they definitely were interested in talking to him. I believe this was a picture that they had found on one of the girls' phones. Yes, and that's another thing that I'm going to touch on now that you bring that up. They say that they found her on one of her phones, but they never confirmed that they have a phone. Well, so if it they, could have been on the cloud or something like that. Well, they're snapping people. Yeah, well, if they well, took a, to the last the photo of the girl walking across the bridge and it just so happens that the sky was on the same bridge that the last image was taken of one of the girls. Listen, I know the last time I ran into a random guy walking through a nature trail where I was, it didn't end well either. Yeah, we don't have to really? tell that story oh, here. Yeah, we, yeah, I can tell I you that story that. on Please a different Please tell me time. more. If you want oh. that story, you got to subscribe to our Patreon because that shit <laughs> is rich. From the, the shit. Stories from Thorncraig by myself where I don't belong. Oh so, my goodness. But let's talk a little bit about this picture because uh, this picture comes from what I believe to be a series of from a video. And now they, and again, the police have not uh, said how much video they have. What's believed, and this is a hell of a range, is that they have between six minutes and like forty-five minutes. Which even six minutes alone of of if this guy, if he is the killer, is quite a bit. So one of the girls took a video for six minutes of this guy walking on the trestle. Yeah, and some of it is is muffled. And so, and I think some of it gets cut out. I mean, we don't really know. That's speculation. But just because there is audio of this guy and it's very muffled. Oh, yeah. yeah and a lot of people believe that is. it could have been that she put the phone in, in her, her pocket. pocket to hide it. Um, yeah. Now, they haven't discussed all of this, uh, the film and all that with the with the public. But I did see a statement from, or hear a statement rather, from uh, an officer that said that what was on there was so terrible you wouldn't want to hear it anyways. So okay, well, it. before we go any further than that. Let's take a listen to what this video actually sounds like. Yes, because there is one clip of, of this guy talking. There's like one sentence. Right. And Get also you're going to hear the dogs in the background because yeah. they're going absolutely Those crazy. dogs ain't in Delphi. They're no. in my house and they yeah. need to shut up. <laughs> wow. Listen, shut I told house. you I was going to kidnap your dogs earlier. I wasn't fucking playing, dude. I'll All steal right. Lily. No, that's the one I want. No. You can have the mop. Okay. All right. All right. Let me find this video here. Hold up. Wow, that was an annoying ass loop. Yeah, I mean, obviously that's looped, but yeah, right. But it's very clear what he's saying. It's not anything like the videos we just watched. Right, you right. You know what I mean? And you can tell it's muffled. And uh, Nancy Grace, who we fucking love so much. Oh, I love Nancy Grace. She She's had my a, favorite. She did have a great point uh, that she said that it sounded like maybe the, the phone was in her pocket. That would make sense, yeah, or that's even why it's so muffled and. You don't have a clear voice on it. Yeah, so I'll give I'll give Nancy Grace some credit there. That's it. That's it for Nancy. Yeah, that's all you get, Nancy. Yeah. Sorry. No, you're Time to retire. Well, Move no, well, on. Sometimes she um, dramatizes the stories a little too much, and there's a little overkill with her. Yeah. I like know. it, so it, it, I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I do like her, but sometimes it's like, okay, all right, take it down a few levels here, lady. But I like crazy, so. Yeah. Well, then she's definitely your woman. Yeah. So the yeah. picture here that we have to go by, right? It's very grainy. Is that what you would call it? Grainy or pixely? Yeah. It's not clear is my point. Yeah, it's it's bad. It was looks like it was taken with like a two megapixel camera, but at the same time, it's it looked like it's zoomed in a lot. Yeah, because back in 2017, you're not going to tell me you're going to give you're going to give your 13 or how, how where whose phone was it? Do we remember? Was it exactly? Libby's was it Libby's or... phone? I believe it was Libby's phone. Yeah, and Libby was the older one. I, cr I believe, 14. right? 14? Okay. Yeah. Well, you're not going to give your 14-year-old a basic a basic phone in 2017. You're going to go get them a, a halfway decent well, I think smartphone. A, I think well, she had an kids, iPhone. But some kids have good phones. But it almost, to me, looks like it could be uh, they, they watched the video and they froze it. And this was the best image and they this had. this was the best image they so had. That's possible. Was this taken from like the Snap video or and just like isolated? I, I think she was just making a video... Hmm. I don't know if the video itself went on the Snapchat account. I yeah. know when she was or before, prior what prior to all this, the picture she took of her friend 
was it went on Snapchat. This here, I don't know. I think it was almost like they were kind of creeped out. Gotcha. A- and she's like, I got to like, there's something's up. It, mm-hmm. You almost get that feel. I mean, I'm speculating. We're all speculating because nobody really knows. Right. But this case is still unfolding. There's a, no, you know when someone's creepy. Yes, right, absolutely. right. And, and for some reason, they felt a need to record this guy, and they got the audio and all that. But like Sarah was saying, I feel like this is probably the best image on that reel of video. Mm-hmm. And from this, and like you said, we'll get it on the Facebook, I cannot get a very clear image of this person's <laughs> no, face. I can't no. even make... He looks like anybody's dad here in Maine, yeah. honestly. No, he really does. And he, you can't tell if he's wearing a hat or he's just got longer hair. Or is and it, it a looks hood like he's we- underneath the right. hood. It looks like he could be wearing a couple different jackets, and I. It looks like he. I don't know. Like the shirt kind of looks like it could be a button up because it just seems like a really yeah, long, there's... almost yeah. dress shirt. He's you layered, I mean? and some people would speculate because this was an unusually warm day in February in in Indiana, so they would not. Th- this would be overdressed. Some people have speculated that he's wearing all this clothes because he's planning on attacking somebody, and to kind of as protection from being scratched or marked up yeah he's has his gloves on too and they look pretty heavy some people have even speculated that they see what they call a deer pout a deer kit on him which is like a fanny pack where i don't would, see it but a fanny pack be? with which would contain like no, scissors and knives no and shit if like he's that got to... a fanny pack it just means he listens to jre <laughs> no, that's but, all it is. But no, I'm saying like Joe Rogan experience. Oh. If he it, sells fanny it would packs. make sense if he had See, something like this. For, but I'm not seeing you guys it. need fanny no, packs. No, the, I agree. the image isn't even <laughs> clear enough to actually like see see that. That has been speculated. I can't, I don't really see any of that myself. On um, a side note, fanny packs are useful as fuck. They really are. They really really are. I take them with me skating. Shortly thereafter, skating. Though, yeah. Oh, okay. Like ice skating. No, it's like, a little too warm for that. Like roller skating. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. <laughs> Hey, before you get too, too, too far here, we're about 22 minutes in. Let's take a break. All right, let's do that. Break time. I don't know if you could hear that through the mic, but I'm playing with this little metal crossbow thing. You're still, you're dangerous, dude. Dude, I know. Fucking lighting toothpicks on fire. Oh, I did earlier. <laughs> that was pretty fun. <laughs> just light, if you you just light the tip right beyond just the crossbow the part. Of, yeah, just the tip. <laughs> Is it course. just to see how it feels? <laughs> just to see how it feels. <laughs> you get it. And then you shoot it. And it actually held its fire up until it started to go down towards the ground. That's some like Robin Hood Prince of Thieves I was going to say, right this there. is some yeah, fucking Braveheart it's... going on in my backyard. <laughs> <laughs> You're a crazy, crazy man, Jake. Dude, they're toothpicks. What do you mean? <laughs> Are we recording? Yeah. Right on. <laughs> right on. <laughs> oh, shit. So back to our uh, our story, I guess. So on, on February 20th, uh, just a few days after this had happened, about a week, uh, this is when the police say that they are looking for the man in the picture, and they released that pic- picture that we were just talking about before the beer break. Uh, two days later, this is when the police will release a section of the video, just a few seconds, and the audio that we had played earlier of him, of him saying, I don't know if he's saying guys down the hill or down the hill. But he just says down the hill. It could be just down the hill. And at this point, it starts to take national attention. And so it's getting the attention of people like Nancy Grace and all the other, uh, you know, large media corporations. And as as this is going on, there is a bunch of uh, of local people and as well as national people and organizations that are throwing money together in reward to uh, find the killer of these two children. Yeah, I think in total they announced there was a forty one thousand dollar reward for any information. Well, that was in the beginning, right? And um, by March of twenty seventeen, that reward had now reached two hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, Which is a lot of money. And a lot of that money comes from the uh, Indianapolis Colts. I have a question. Do you pay taxes on that money? On the reward money? I, I don't I, know. I think that we should solve this case. That's what I'm saying. That's a nice <laughs> right? down payment on a house. You know what I mean? I think any time you receive any lump sum like that, you probably have to pay tax. All yeah, right. But you helped the government directly. You know right. What I mean? But, I mean, that's just, I mean... You win the lottery, you pay your taxes, and then at the end of the year when you file your taxes, you pay some more. Yeah, but that's not finding two dead girls. And nobody got the money, uh, so. <laughs> I don't know. When you deal with dead people, like, the government gives you money. 
my uh, mom came upon like a fatal accident and they paid her like a stipend for a while just for like happening upon it and like dealing with the dead people wow huh. yeah okay interesting yeah. so at this at this time uh, as the money's going up now another thing i want to bring up is uh i believe it was lowe's they donated uh colored light bulbs to that community why in unison uh you know for the well, search why didn't they donate white light bulbs well, I don't know. I think they were orange, actually. Oh, okay. I'm not sure, but I believe they were orange. But anyways, they donated lights uh, to people in that community to light up at night to show you know, solidarity and searching for this person that murdered two young children. And uh, so that was kind of a cool thing. Right. Uh, the rewards continue to, to increase. Yeah, uh, at one point, it also got up to, what, 225, 224? Yes, and they had about 11,000 tips and this was in the early end of march wow but still nothing's really come of anything and then on july 17th uh of 2017 so just a few months later the indiana state police they start to release a little bit more information and this is a uh, a sketch of the uh, murder suspect uh they depicted a a male that a, a white male between 5'6 and 5'10 and weighing between 180 and 220 pounds. Hey, man, you're giving me a bad name. <laughs> <laughs> With reddish brown hair, and the eye color is unknown. And uh, well, it looks black to me. But this oh, has, and, and, then again, and now this the, is the picture that they're showing us, he has a sweatshirt on and a hat on and facial hair. It doesn't even look like the person in the image that they they have. Well, what do you think, Jurgen? I don't know. Like based on other pictures that I've seen, I think this guy looks just like him. But that's just me. You think this looks like... Well, this is based off of the picture that we have okay. of him from... Right. So the one that we were just discussing, like, you can't even tell who that is. Right. But, like, right. other, like, research I've done earlier today. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> but, I'm yeah. jumping ahead a little. But, that, but yeah, right. But but what I, I see what you're saying, but I don't... You did bring up a good point. I do not see how you can get a sketch based off of that image. Now, we know that image right. comes from a series of film... And maybe as the guy's moving, and he even has a unique walk about him, too. I know we didn't watch any video here, but and, and the police thought that even his walk could be a tell as to who he was. Like, somebody in this community could have known who he was. If um, we wanted to just give him a general description, think of, like, a retired gym teacher who got injured in the Army. He's okay. kind of wearing, like, an artist <laughs> hat. I don't know. He, he looks kind of weird. Or who owned the land around this area? That's very interesting, and we can get into that a little bit, because what had happened was they did, when they found the bodies, it was on somebody's land. Now, this is heavily wooded land. This guy, it sounded like, because he had taken reporters out, and, you know, of course, they got a search warrant for his property and all that. They found the body. They did not find any evidence that this guy had done anything. And when you watch media, he doesn't act like somebody that did anything. In fact, he's kind of like, hey, come here. I'll take you down. He's an older guy. Uh, he looks like he's probably in his 70s, but he was definitely somebody that was in shape. Now, Not, is this the guy that owned the land? Yeah, yeah. You okay. know, he's taking people down, you know, down the hill, down to where they were found and all that. But they, you know, they got a warrant. They searched his property and they were able to clear this guy relatively so quickly. So did they ever match the the image that they had in and compare it to his? Looks nothing like him. Okay. Looks nothing like him at all. So now I'm confused. I thought they like disappeared and were dead in like a park. Does the guy own part of the park? No, you know what? I'm, I'm glad you bring that up yeah. because what it is is it's really not a park. It's a hiking trail. It's about 10 miles of hiking trail connected. Like you brought up, not that it matters to other people that are not from here, but Thorns Craig yeah. on a larger scale. Okay. Gotcha. And But it's not land owned by the city. Or, uh, this is land that must, some of it might have been public land, but a lot of it intersects people's private property. Gotcha. Oh, yep. okay. And it, those people were just nice enough to let these people walk through. Bingo. And so this okay. guy being nice enough to allow that, unfortunately, had some bodies dumped on his... Yeah, and now it's his how, responsibility. How far down from the uh, trestle were they found? I think it was approximately a mile. Okay. I thought it was half a mile. Or half a mile, yeah. Something like that. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. far. No. It wasn't far. Long. It was still kind of in that in that area. And found on his land. Yeah, and they were able to quickly clear him. Uh, nothing comes up of anything until about September, until on September 17th. Yeah, authorities in Colorado arrest a man named Daniel Nations. Um, he had an expired Indiana license plate on his car at the time. 
Uh, they said that he could be linked to the murders, and they called him a person of interest. It emerges that he was homeless at the time of the murders. And looking at this picture, which, again, Adam will put up on Facebook or something, it actually does look like the sketch. It just looks yeah. like he took his hat off, and he's wearing a regular shirt. With but a he's shorter got a very haircut. Similar, he's got a very similar build, and you can kind of see that like the 5 o'clock shadow he's got going on when he's all clean cut yeah. kind of matches what the sketch looks like. Yeah. And he's got kind of like unique, goofy looking eyes. Yeah, and they're literally like literally just like the sketch. Like you could drive from LA to San Francisco faster than the distance between this guy's eyes. It's like frog-like almost. Now, it's it's yeah. crazy. I'm Very wondering, did they like, around the time that this happened, did were there other people walking at the same time? Were there any other people? Who, this was a place that people used. Right. So did they get interviews from those people saying, oh, well, this is what we think. Have you ever seen a guy that fits this description walking through here? I'm sure they did. For some reason, they released the information that they had. You know, and, and to us, maybe it doesn't make much sense because you don't get much of a, an image from that, uh, the, the picture, and then the sketch is kind of where you're getting this from. But they haven't released, they haven't even released how these kids were murdered. So they're not saying how they're getting their information. They're just choosing to release certain bits of information to the public to see if, well, if we release this, maybe we'll get this in return. And that's kind of how, to me, it seems like they're playing this game. And it seems kind of kind of smart when you think about it of because course. they want people to come forward but they don't want to give so much information that the person that actually did it just flees which well, even, would be kind of weird because they're going to flee anyway or at least you would think yeah and if they were like sexually assaulted for instance then whoever's on the lit made the list for you know uh or who had to register on those lists where they're predators or he, whatnot he was a sex you know, offender they, right okay so Nations, if yeah. They, if they gave out that information, then maybe it would be like, okay, well, oh shit, they have my DNA. I should get out of here. Yeah, well, I mean, we can touch on Nations here. He was, he, he is a sex offender. You okay, know, he, well, and just because, just because now I know that, it might start something in the community against him too. You know, this per, this person who's a sex offender, who people, let's be honest, they don't have a good, I don't know, a good. What's the word I'm looking for? Help a me good out. reputation for being Thank around uh, other you. people. They don't. People don't particularly <laughs> like sex offenders. Yeah. Let's be real honest. If they come out and say, "Well, this registered sex offender might have something to do with it," it might end up badly for him, and well, they don't want him dead. And at there's there's this more point. to that too because you mentioned on him being homeless. He was found in a national park, so he was ho- a homeless sex offender. And it was believed that he had assaulted somebody with an axe, which would kind of fall suit with somebody that might kill two girls. In the Whoa. woods in Indiana. Maybe. Okay, it's wow. almost a very similar type of MO. I hope you're not making that shit up, because that's crazy. That is crazy. Is It's not made up, right? No. <laughs> Where did you find... Wow, okay. Uh, now, his wife does say that he resembles the sketch, but he doesn't own that clothing, which is bullshit. Well, I mean, I'm not saying that's well, bullshit, okay, but I mean, well, anybody can own any kind of clothing. Okay, so you don't know that. Oh, he's got a black that. shirt, or okay, he's got so, a hat. Okay, so you don't know that, so hey, don't say that's bullshit. If you're fixing to, to go start. kill somebody, you're going to go buy some clothes that you've never worn before, do the crime, and get rid of it. Well, and... She's never seen him in that. Okay, but you don't know that either. Okay, but I know she's never seen him in that. That's all she can say on he's that. He's also homeless, right? So right. Why, so right. is his wife homeless, so, too, or did she kick him out? Well, yeah. are they not together? I mean, if he's homeless, then yeah. they must not be together. So why would she visualize him in this certain clothing? He, pro- he probably just got all that at Goodwill. It's like quite the ensemble he had on in the, the grainy picture. Absolutely. And you know what's crazy? is She didn't come out and say that she doesn't have, you know, she doesn't remember him owning those clothes for a couple months because originally they released a sketch of him in when? Uh, July, like halfway through July, right, Adam? Scroll yeah. up. Scroll up. September, sorry. Okay, so it's like a month later. So September, they arrest him on September 17th. And more than slightly more than a month later, a month and like three or four days, um, his wife says that she doesn't remember him owning any of these clothes. And she does, you know, he does resemble the guy, but she wouldn't know because he doesn't wear a lame-ass so, hat like that. So, I like yeah. that hat. Did they ask what? him? It's a yeah. Shepo. 
Wow. Did they ask her if he was wearing a hat or a sweatshirt over his head? Because in the picture that we see, you really can't tell if he has a hat or a hood or anything. Well, so what I'm saying this is, is the like sketch. kind of a it's a kind of a false sketch though, because right. I don't he's not wearing a hat. Take the hat off. It could definitely be a hoodie, though. It hoodie, could yeah, definitely yeah. be Absolutely. a hoodie. No, you're right. That's what I'm thinking. He wasn't wearing a hat, and it's clear. I think what it is is that the guy resembles the sketch enough. Yes. And he's, I agree. He's, no, he's done things in the woods. Take the hat off. To, to, to shave others. him up. You know, give him a right. clean haircut, and you have the guy. Right. Yep. So this, so the, the family kind of stays in the... Uh, in the public eye, uh, they do make an appearance on the Dr. Phil show to tell their story. This was in the middle of December of that year. And I think that they're probably feeling kind of desperate because they, there's nothing. Nothing has has come of anything. You know, and, and you can imagine that they're, they're able to quickly clear um, nations because you would assume they'd have some kind of DNA left on the bodies if something had happened and they could run that against him because he's on you know he's on the uh the national grid i mean they they got the guy in jail they got his fingerprints there they've got his they have his dna mm-hmm. um okay but if you're wearing that much clothing and you have gloves on let's just say you there's nothing to find on the bodies yeah but if you were like unless, sexually assaulted right unless yeah. right absolutely right. that's what i was gonna say and none of that's been released right so right you can uh, that's just assumption right there but you know so about a year well actually a year to the day that the girls were found dead uh authorities come out and say that daniel nations is not a suspect uh as you quote as you all know we went out to colorado and spend a little bit of time with daniel nations and he is not a person we care a whole lot about at this time um that was douglas carter who was a superintendent with the indiana state police until someone is arrested he says we're interested in almost everybody yeah. So Daniel didn't, not that he didn't, didn't clear, but it's not looking good for him. Right. right. Like he, like he's not involved. Right. Right. And and nothing really comes of this. They check, uh, they check out a lot of other people because they continue to get leads. Mm-hmm. Um, and they they pursue uh, most of these leads. Uh, you know, especially if they have some kind of validity behind them. Um, where the girls had Snapchat, did they have a Facebook page? I would assume. It's very possible. Now, did they ever investigate any messages that they had or conversations that they had maybe leading this guy to Yeah, what if it was just them? some like creepy dude like posing as like a teenage boy that they were going to meet? Right. That's like very right. something 14 I would do. I mean, really? Yeah. Really. And, you know, um, did you watch the short video of the two girls hanging out in the bedroom talking? No. No. Well, they're hanging out and they're talking in their bedroom and they they seemed a little older than 13, 14. You're saying that they're very mature. For well, their ages, I didn't think they were very mature, but they seemed older than what they were. That's the thing so, nowadays. Yeah. Um, I mean, and it. I mean, everyone. You know, you could be a ten year old, and you could have the mentality of a eight year old or higher. But it just seemed like they were a little more mature. So that's why I'm like, okay, were they talking on Facebook with anyone? Did they have any contact with just random people? It happens all the time. You tell your kids not to interact with strangers. And, you know, because you told them they're going to do it or, you know, like. Well, they, we, they all do it. Yeah. Well, we haven't, we yeah, haven't heard anything. I'm just wondering yeah. if they looked into that, though, too. Like, well, we haven't heard anything, so I would assume not. But. I mean, you, you don't know. just have the phone. You have the computer at home, too. Like, no, you're that right. you have access to with Facebook and Messenger. And, I'm sure they looked into um, all that stuff. I'm wondering, right. though. I I'm mean, sure they, they subpoenaed oh, all that information. Mom looks at my stuff, so I'm going to delete it. So Mom doesn't there's, have there's, a clue. There's backups for that, though. But, oh, yeah. You know, if they're, if this, you know, if they're really looking into this kind of stuff, you delete something off the Internet. 
There's backups. For yeah, that. mom they doesn't know that though. Mom may not have a clue. These girls are now dead, so well, they no, might have secretly. So did the cops investigate? Any well, that's what we're saying. What I'm saying laptops, is that computers. is that I'm sure they did. I'd well, hope so because you can get if, a Facebook like archive of all your shit. Well, yeah. they were rest, murdered, yeah. but we don't know that much information about how or right. what or anything. Well, so that could is be that something that, they're not revealing or yes, releasing? Probably. That's exactly yeah. right. what I was. Um, I'm sure they looked into it, but they probably there's nothing to say. There's nothing to look into. So uh, the year passes, 2018 passes, and there really isn't all that much that goes down regarding this case. So two years later, uh, February 13th of 2019, authorities come out and vow that they're going to bring the person to justice. And here we are, May, almost June. Yeah. Still waiting for answers. Still waiting for answers. Yeah. Uh, But some interesting stuff did happen recently, Jake. And we were just talking about this before we came back on. We were, and we had to pressure you to shut your face about it until we got on mic. (laughs) They came out with a new f- image of who the person is. Yeah, and this guy doesn't isn't wearing a hat. He looks like a failure. I think. <laughs> oh my god! I he think... really does, though. Look at him. <laughs> Look at his eyes. They're you said he looks like, together. This you time. said he looked like a failed gym teacher he... with a hat before. I mean, <laughs> yeah. looks well, nothing well, he's this alike. guy sucks at life. He's a failed janitor. <laughs> Is that what he looks like now? Yeah, he looks like he doesn't know how to lift a trash bag. Looks like a generic white guy to me. I mean, uh, there's no facial features, really. Run of the curly mill hair. Run of the mill right aid sales associate. He Damn looks right. nothing like the image. His hair's stupid. Yeah. It's stupid. <laughs> it's it's like- well, that's why they put the hat on him on the first one. <laughs> Justin Timberlake when he was with NSYNC. Yeah. Yep. That's the hairstyle. Like yep. Ramen noodle hair. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So this this new sketch came out. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. No, that was great. That was awesome. <laughs> this new sketch uh, came out April 22nd of this year. <laughs> yeah. So this was just within the last like month. Yeah. 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 He's going to skinny neck. Go back up. I want to pick <laughs> on him some more. This is very entertaining. Why is he squinting? Why are all his features like so small in the middle of his giant freaking head? I know. And why is one nostril but, bigger than the but, other? And it looks like no, the no, no. Of his nose I can draw like, better eh. than that. More importantly, more importantly, where the hell does this come from? Yeah. Where does yeah. this come from? Because all of a sudden, two years later, a little over two years later, you're releasing some shit that is totally different than anything you've shown. Yeah. Or anything that you've had people looking for a certain sketch for two years. The weight, the height, and then you release this almost skinny like figure of with somebody that looks even younger. He looks like 18. Right. And not only that, but the last sketch they released, the guy looked older and he looked like he, he like he weighed 40 or 50 pounds more. Right. right. This guy looks super skinny, almost almost in shape. Yeah. It's like you what the hell is this? What what happened? It, it, I just Justin know. Timberlake with Roman noodle hair. I just want to know <laughs> why he thinks why he thinks it's okay to <laughs> shave his eyebrows all fucked up like that. I don't know, and he's. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where this comes from. I don't know. He's got a but, squinty eye. He's like half from Asia, and we can't really tell. What, we, here's one thing. Which I, country are you from exactly? We don't know. This guy a cute is. Chin, though. Did you say he's got a cute chin? I think so. At least you're giving him some kind yeah. of compliment. Yeah, yeah right. I've been mean. About it. He may have murdered two kids, <laughs> but you got a cute chin. Yeah. Well, well, here's the thing, right? The police released this image, which is totally different than anything we've seen. It's mm-hmm. like a curveball but, has nothing right, to do. Right, but how about this? You want to throw a curveball here? They're talking now like this guy's been hanging out around. He was probably in the woods the day that we were searching for her. He might. This is one of the police saying this during a press conference. This guy, this cop, also says he could be in this room with us right now. So they're talking like they know who this guy is. They have this kind of <clears throat> what's going on here? Well, if they know who it is, make an arrest, right? Or maybe, Do it. well, maybe it's no a curveball to okay. We're let's reveal this image to make it seem like we're after a certain person when really we've had this person in our sight the whole time. Yeah, or they were like chasing a false lead just going off a cell phone video when maybe it had nothing to do with anything. Mm -hmm. So you know what's really kind of interesting is the reward now stands at $225,000. That's a lot of money, and it's still a relatively new case. I don't think we're going to see any slowdown in information coming in on this case, not only because it's so fresh and because it's so it's such a prevalent case in Indiana and people really care about this, but because the reward is so high. How many cases do you have? Okay, how many cases have we done where a reward for information has been that high? That's pretty high. And that's because this was out on a national level. They had even released uh, billboard images 
and 46 mm-hmm. states. Really? 46 states for this. I mean, they're really pushing hard for some kind of information. And now that I'm thinking about what I what I had said 30 seconds ago, I don't think people are going to come out liter- – well, I'm sure there are going to be people that are, that are going to come out literally just for the reward. But you would hope that people would come out anyway. Because of the reward, they're getting a lot of bullshit. Oh, I'm sure they are. And, but within that, you got to sift through the turds to find the diamonds. Not only that, but it shows how much the how much the police want to solve this case. They're, right. If, if they didn't care about it, like just in the perfect example of uh, Megan Gregory, which we can we, maybe we can touch on some recent developments. But yeah. I don't know. Maybe we should hold it. Um, but when, in a case like that, they didn't give a shit about her. They didn't put out a reward. They're just like, oh, she ran off. Yeah, I mean, but you're looking at. You know, and I know the case. I know the cases are different. Yeah, but I'm just, I mean, I'm just a teenage show, I'm showing girls. the the you know the the difference. I guess. One, anyway, one thing uh, I gotta say about this because let's talk about what we do know. I would say this person, based on what they found and what this person has done, assuming it's one person, has done this before <laughs> because I don't know. I don't want to say they did it well, but they did it well. They're not caught. They're still out on the streets. It's only two years out. It'd be different if they were 30 years untouched. But this wasn't a sloppy job. Because if it was a sloppy job, they would have arrested this person in, within a couple of hours, within a couple of days. Okay, but there's not a lot of... There's... I don't know. I don't feel like in the, in this situation, there's a lot of um, ways to get caught. Just because it happened outside, But obviously. how often does a killer get caught with audio and video of them and that's, still get away? That's a good point. What do you guys think? Well, I think we also haven't seen the full video. We haven't seen or heard the full audio. Um, We haven't, you know, listened to them interview people who've walked the path and maybe have seen this guy. Maybe he's visited this area frequently. Maybe, who knows? Like, you just don't know. Yeah, I'm very much with Sarah on that. There's too much that they're not releasing to like even have even an inkling of what's going on. It could be so many things. Do you feel like this is somebody that's killed before? Yes. What do you think? Possibly. Yeah, possibly. I'm going to go with possibly just because I don't know enough about the person to really make a good call. I don't feel comfortable saying yes. Now, it's been two years. I think it's yes and no because yes we don't no. we we don't know the full story. We don't even know how they died. Like you could e- like they were on the you know near the train trestle. You could just like shove someone off that. You were murdered, and then I don't remember. Oh, how about this? How about we get into? Is it one person or two person? Mm, now that's a good point. There, there, there's been talks about how you know if there were two girls, how could one person pull this off? Right. Right, because you get two girls, and they're not little girls. These are these are teenagers, thirteen, fourteen years old. Um, how do you? How does one person control one while the other one gets away? And we brought this similar conversation up when we did the West Memphis Three, because you had three little boys being killed. Okay, I don't think it's out of it's out of out of reach that. If we can, if we're going by the first sketch where he looks overweight and yeah. might have a little bit of heft to him, you know what I mean? It's not out of reach that he can hold one or hold both at the same time because let's because let's just let's just be honest. Teenage girls are more than likely not as strong as teenage boys or young or that's you know not I mean? true. Okay, well I kicked the shit out of boys when I was a teenager. <laughs> okay, well I'm just I'm just saying as a general statement, right. and maybe I'm wrong. But I I don't think it would be out of reach. You know what I mean? Or maybe he probably maybe had a weapon. Could have said, "Hey, look, you I mean, stay put, possible. or I'm gonna fucking kill your friend." Right. And then yeah. all of a sudden right. you're then staying put in story. fear. Well, right. we also haven't listened to the six minutes of the audio recording. Right. Six which... minutes to forty five minutes, so there could be quite a bit. He yeah. could have been threatening them in that that whole time. Right, right. down the hill, get down right. the hill, and they walked what at a half a mile to a mile down the path where. What happened? Yeah, yeah, I only see that scenario happening if there's like a gun involved. Right, and because he if been not, I would have friggin' ran off. And right, we don't know how they were murdered. Right, right. There's so much that we don't know, which makes this kind of a hard podcast. So to did put he? Together, did he have a way. gun to control? You know, if you see someone threatening you, get down the hill. I have. He has a gun. I mean, you're gonna do what he says. 
That's right. true. That's right. That's regardless or, of who or even, you are. Or even a knife or anything that you're going to threaten harm to one know, of the other. If there were one guy and there were two, I mean, if there were two of us and he had a knife, I mean... I wouldn't just listen to him because there's a knife. Yeah, but you're an right. adult. We're talking two teenage kids, young teenagers. Right. They're going to be petrified. Uh, yeah. Probably never okay. been in a situation like this. At no, least we'd hope not. They're, they're there going for a walk. Yeah. I mean, you don't know unless it happens. Right. So. You don't say, hey, I'm going to get murdered today. I'm going to be ready for it. You know, these are kids that were not ready for this. Which is odd because, you know, if they have a six to 45 minute video. I mean, like, it just seems as though, like, you know something's off. You know something's wrong. You videotape. Why didn't you call someone off your phone while this was happening so that... Like, you know, do a 911 pocket Right, dial. right. Yeah, either if that you or you had the time to do a Snapchat yeah. or a video or whatever, why didn't you call someone? Why didn't you call 911? That's a good question. I mean, it would their have been bodies easy. would have been located immediately off of just that call. Well, I'm surprised they didn't with just a phone on you. I know, and that would have like made the sense. Like find your iPhone thing. Right. Well, not only that, right. but that would have made sense to call 911 because as soon as you call 911, and I know this is how it is from a cell phone, they track your phone. Yeah. yeah. And if the, if no one's answering a 911 call, like if you're like just as an example, if you're at your house and someone's robbing your house, you call 911 and you leave the phone on the hook. Because they're going to respond immediately because well, 911 if... is dispatchers like, how come no one's responding to me? This must be horrible. They're going to send someone to your location. Even if you call 911 and you hang up, they're they coming. call you right back. Yes, they do. I learned that the hard way, too. But you, uh, you know what? Again, they're kids. Maybe they, they freaked out. Exactly. Maybe the first thought was, I got to record this instead I, of, I got to call 911. I would put money on that. And, like I would, I would legitimately put money on well, that. Well, this recording is going to find the guy that... Did this to us. They're scared. They're just thinking. Whatever came to mind is what yeah. they did. Yeah. What are exactly. we going to do? What are we going to do? You know, I'm going to fucking do this, you know? Right. Instead of, I'm going to call 911. I bet right. you the thought never crossed her mind at all. No, they probably well, just thought he was a weird guy. Do you remember right. when we were kids, they used to, like, uh, discretion is advised. Please take your kids away from the channel. The images you see. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't they release more of the video? In more of the audio. And just put like a tag on it? Well, because down the hill. I don't think it has anything to do with people see little kids seeing it. I think it has everything to do with there's something there that they don't want the public to know yet. Well, they did say but that if, it was gruesome to watch. Wouldn't, right. Oh, so, so if it is gruesome, whatever, you still, I mean, you get the whole video out there and... I mean, that's a longer length to go by than just down the hill. And you can find yeah. people like so much easier with releasing that shit. There was like a case up in Canada that I watched where there was like a, a murder that was was filmed and it was put out on the Internet. And because it was put out on the Internet, the Internet found the guy like out in Europe. Right. That's what I'm saying. Wow. Just more of it. that. Put yeah. it out. Who cares? Wow. Well, you know, put it out. You want to find this guy? Get it out there. There's a lot of people that would ag that that do agree with you too. Uh, that they're saying it's been two years. All the only thing that we've gotten is two sketches and some a little bit of information. It's time to release more because somebody probably knows this guy. Right. Just you release it. I'll watch it. Whatever. We'll yeah. find him. You know. Yeah. And, and if you truly believe that this is somebody, because the police said this is, we believe this to be somebody from this area, from this community. Well, if you put that out there, they're going to say, oh, that's. That's Bob from the fucking hardware store or whatever. You know what I mean? They're, right. Clean up the audio that you have of him a but, little bit more and then put it out. But here's the thing. Just because you're on, found on some kid's phone doesn't necessarily mean you did anything. So you, you have to be able to prove things. Uh, this was a place where people hiked. It just so happens okay, that they felt the need to videotape this guy for six to 45 minutes. There's yeah. got to be something on it. Yeah, like you can even like isolate the voice it. and try to go that way. There's definitely if something I on it. Felt, there's no way there's not. I don't know. If I were the, in their shoes and I felt like someone were following me, I would turn back, call my parents and say, come pick me up. I would have gotten out of there by now. You're victim blaming. Yeah, we are definitely victim I'm blaming not, right yeah. now. I'm but not, I, I get it. I'm not yeah. victim blaming, but you know, as a 14 year old, right. did ever, anyone ever creep you out? All the time. Did oh you God, people, kind of avoid them and get stories. out of there? Yes. Okay, so you, you <laughs> yes. got out of there. I'm not trying to victim blame right. because you know what? Every 13, 14 year old is different. But just when I was a 14 year old, if anyone creeped me out, I was out of there. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know. In some cases, I tried playing it nice so nothing creepy would happen. Right. But, you know, who knows? This will take us to uh, May 13th of this year. Wow, what a rough transition. Oh, I'm going to pick know. on you a little bit, and I'm going to steal this last segment from you. <laughs> All right, go for it. Uh, state police on May 13th, 2019, said that in the wake of the new evidence released in April, which was what exactly? Because we kind of skipped over those notes. Was that picture that we were just was that making picture? fun of? Yeah. Okay. Uh, more than 3,000 new tips had come in, including thousands of emails, more than 500 phone calls to the tip line, and nearly 150 f- phone calls and or walk-ins to the local police departments in the area. Um, The police also reiterated that it's important to be as specific as possible when people are giving tips. And I quote, people remember that we are looking for information that could lead to the arrest and conviction of the person or persons who committed this crime. Um, If you have a tip for this case, if you're in the area, if you did some crappy detective type of shit and saw some shit online and started picking on your own, by the way, good on him. Um, you can email Abby and Libby tip at C A C O S H R F. I'm assuming some, I don't know, something with the police department. Yeah. I think it's a Carroll County Sheriff's department, Carroll County yeah. Sheriff's department. Okay. Um, so that's Abby and Libby tip at C A C O S H R F dot com, Or you can call their tip line at eight, four, 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 five, nine, five, seven, eight, six. Again, that's eight, four, 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 five, nine. Five seven eight six, and they would appreciate any tip they can get. It's time to find the man or woman or whoever that was uh, responsible for the murder of this this unfortunate yeah it's group def- of little girls. Definitely time to throw this person behind bars. Well, and also just release more. I you know of I, the the video content, release more of the audio content because the more you have, the more you can go on. You know, I was originally against that idea, but now that I heard you explain it, I kind of, I kind of feel the same way because you, you almost want to protect that information because you don't want someone who wants to capitalize on a bad situation to put their, to put their two cents in. But at the same time, there are so many more people who care, and you kind of have to look at things in the most positive way that you can because if you continuously live in the hide everything and be negative kind well, of space, it's not going to help as you. As it may be, I mean. The more, you know, audio of the voice, you know, the, the, the more, you know, you can identify the voice or, you know, the way the person carries himself. I mean, someone. Someone's going to recognize this person. Identify this person. Right. Yeah. Now that it's been two years. Especially I, if it's a little town like that. Someone's got to. Right. Like, I can't imagine this town is much bigger than where we live. At least in the surrounding area. It just looks like a lot of countryside. I actually looked at it on Google Earth and all that. It, so it's probably even smaller than where we live. Yeah. So it can't be hard to identify. Like, kind of like out here. It'd be like if something like that happened right here in this town. Yep. You know, small town America. Yep. But yeah, you know, I can see holding the information in the early going, but now, uh, what is it they say that if you don't catch the killer within the first 48 hours, your odds of catching the killer drop significantly? And I don't know. They found, to drop off. I don't know. They found Justin D. Pietro. Well, that's that's yeah. That's. I think they already knew that though, because but, I mean, oh, we don't know where he is, but all of a sudden he has a job in California, and this where is he's off th- doing porn in California. Yeah, this is yeah. where he is. Okay, that's a totally that's different a, story. That's a whole other Why story. did you that serve him? Jeez, that Jake, look what you started. <laughs> <Sorry. Might be. laughs> whole... This would normally be the point where we do social media. Yeah, I guess it's kind of weird to not we, have to do uh, it. This check, is when we cut it short. Check out our Snapchat. Yeah, what's our, what's our Snapchat? <laughs> Stories from Shed? Stories from Shed. All right. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Yes, We're going to cut you. this now, I guess, because this is, this is weird. I don't like this without social media in the end. It's confusing. All right. Well, <laughs> thank know, right. you for well, having me on uh, again. Yes, thank you very much for coming on. Thank yes, you both for coming on. Yes. I'll yes, have to thank come you. Come by again soon. Hemp Tales. For sure. Check them out. Tales. Thank you, Hemp Tales. Great beer. I hope Cheers, everybody. All right, good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.